All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Zichi. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master the video. Today's video, we're going to be using some Sword Soul in Diamond Rank 1. I haven't used this deck in Diamond 1 at all, so I don't know how it's going to do. We're going to be doing live recording, so I might only do two matches because every time I do a live recording, it's really long. So I'm trying to keep the video 15 minutes to 20 minutes. So yeah, we're just going to hop straight in. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, all this stuff. And yeah, let's just hop straight into it. All right, so we get to go first here. Really, really, really good hand. Um, if only we could help. If only we could help. Right, right, which version of the deck am I using? Okay, so we are using the right version. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to normal summon out, right? I don't need to do this because that's just at that point, it's just going to waste. Or do we want it in the graveyard? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep it for next turn. We're keeping it for next turn. So we're going to activate this. Because we're going to need something for, uh, is that a maxi? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we this deck loses to maxi heavily, so we're just gonna get rid of that. If he has a nib, that's just gonna be very unfortunate as well. Very, very sad. But we're gonna be able to protos here, so that's really good. At least. Okay, so we're gonna get that. One, two. If he nibs, then uh, I don't even know anymore. If he nibs, I don't even know. Okay, that's one, two. This is the third summon. Perfect. Okay, we're going to activate this chain link one. All right. And this is chain link two. No ash. That's really good. Drawn to the long UN. That way we can add here the blackout. Really good, actually. <laughs> it drew into long you win. Oh my god. We're going to Protos. We're going to grab Protos while we can, just in case he does nib. So we have this, right? So we're going to activate this. Sending the Avishita. Or... So his nib, if he has it, should pop. Okay, it didn't go through. Nice. We're going to go into our Baron de Fleur. We're going to put it in defense, right? Because every time I put it in attack, it gets destroyed. And all, I don't even know. If I put it in anything, it just gets destroyed. It's sad to see. It is sad to see. Okay, so we have dark water and fire. So we'll be able to do this, that, and this. One, two, three. And we're going to call Dark. It's because Dark, they don't get to go into Access Code Talk. But if they're using Tribe Gaze, they don't get to use their Omen. If they're using um, literally any Dark monster, basically. DPE doesn't get activated. All that stuff, right? So we're going to end our turn here. And hopefully, hopefully they don't have anything. If they're using Numerons or anything like that, I'm going to just cry. Alright, cheat <laughs> G, if that's the case. I hope they don't have any, like, Kaijus. We need them. We need to keep this on the field. I mean, it is a lingering effect. So basically, what that means is, even if this card gets negated now, he still can't use his dark monsters, right? He can't special summon dark monsters. He can activate the effect, but he can't special summon dark monsters. So that's really good. If we had the Hulk line, we were gonna be able to lock light. Yeah, and that's GG's right there. All right, so we're going first again. Pretty decent hand, if I do say so myself. We're going to be able to not Hulk, unfortunately. Oh, we could Hulk, actually. Hmm, let me see something real quick. No, we can't Hulk. We cannot Hulk. I lied to you guys. I lied to you guys. Okay, so we're going to go here. Activate this. We're going to show him the other Mo Yi, so that he doesn't think we have another one in the hand. Go there. He has no Imperm, so that's really good. We're going to add... I'm gonna draw one and add one. I'm gonna add the long U1. The long one. Okay. Chain link one. Chain blocking. Chain link two. Always do that. One and two. I have so many videos on this deck. So many. Would you that? Okay. Now the thing is. Are we afraid of a nib? Because he hasn't, you know, we don't care. 
We don't care. If anything, I'll use the summit to bring back the tie and then continue to play. Okay. Go there. Okay, no nib. We can go here. Put it in defense. We can actually continue, right? Taya, banish this. Go into the Draco right here. Should we try it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bring back the Taya. Activate this. We banish this. We'll keep the two in the graveyard just in case. We got the other token. No. And okay, now we activate here. Um. We'll go here. Because I think... Oh, Baxia could... Could lock light, I think. Can we? No, I don't think we can. Okay, we'll just go here. So we'll have uh, Banish just in case. Okay, then we'll send here. We'll send this. We'll send that. Just for a follow up for next turn, right? We end our turn. Let's go. Let's go. I have n the only thing I have to bank on is Baron negate, this on field negate, and then this banish. Is this a quick effect? We're gonna let him use it. We're gonna let him use it. Negate. Uh, we'll get rid of the long UN. GG. Alright, for this match, we're going second. I ended up getting a replay for this one. Because I only had two and it felt kind of short. This match wasn't really anything crazy, right? Uh, I literally, he ends it in two turns, he surrenders, but I just needed another match in the video. Just so we have a third match so that we guys can see what you could have done going second, right? So in my hand right now, I have an Imperm to stop a card on the field. He's using the Monarchs. I'm going to use Imperm to stop this card right here. This is really, really good. And next turn, I was hoping that I would be able to go into uh, Hulk, right? So the Hulk line still exists right here. So the play that we wanted to do right here. So we're going to special summon this Ashina, right? Go into the Monk just in case he somehow stops what I'm about to do. And then we could still special summon out a level one. And then we can go into our Worm Monsters, right? But he is going to go ahead after he called by the Graves this card. I normal summon this, but the plan was to go here and then normal summon this. Go into Hulk. Hulk will bring out the desk bot. Desk bot goes into with the uh, with the Hulk and goes into Aurorodon. Then bring out the three tokens and then uh, uh, desk bot activates from the graveyard to come back. Then we go into Yazi. We use Yazi to pop itself and then this card, right? So we also have the Aurorodon on the field. So Yazi pop itself in this card. We bring out the Taya. Taya activates. We banish a card. Bring a token. So when the token comes, we can go into Baxia. Baxia would send these two cards to the deck. That Well, this is what I was hoping in my mind would happen, right? All right, so Baxia would do that. Then we activate the Baxia popping the um, popping uh, whatever the token was right here. And then Taya would have sent the Moye to the graveyard. We would activate it to bring out... But first, we would need to activate the this to bring out the um, the level one to the level one Tenny, so that way we could use it to bring back the Ashna to the hand. Then we bring Moyi back to the graveyard, right? Uh, back from the graveyard to the field. Thankfully, because we would have Inuma Monster on the field as well. So once that happens, we're able to bring out Moyi. Moyi shows the. Uh, Ashina and then 
you know, we would be able to OTK from that point out. We would have been able to Protoss locking Dark and we would have locked the Light. So his deck would have been shut down because Monarchs are Earth, not Earth, are Light and Dark. So that's basically the play I wanted to make. But he did end up shutting us down here. We drew into this. This would have gotten us our Protoss. And it would have also helped us with the Moe as well. So the play was yeah, but he did call by the grave, like I said. So we go into here. We go into Hulk, and then he just scoots because he knows it was GG's at that point. GG. Nothing he could do. Yep. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I just wanted to make this quick video of Sword Soul in Diamond 1. Just because I know a lot of you still like the Sword Soul videos and want to see more combos with the deck. When the Adventure Engine comes out, I don't know how well it's going to work with Sword Soul, but I'll try to make a video with it. Right, but for the most part, I will be making adventure prank kids video so definitely be on the lookout for that when that comes within the upcoming month i do believe that's when the card are dropping but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the deck list will be in the description you could also download the Yu-Gi-Oh neuron app and it will tell you every single card on the screen but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy hit that like button for me comment share subscribe all this stuff and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace